Hi everybody, this is Aditya and why? I want to be in the video. Okay, so if you want to be in the video, then I think I should go because there can only be one in there. Yes, that would be great. That would be awesome. I'll go. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll handle it a little bit. Bye. Hi guys, Aditya here and in this video we are going to flash the Panad Android ROM for our OnePlus X. Not only OnePlus X but there are a lot of devices which have Panad Android support. So make sure that you go to the first link in the description box down below to see if your device falls into that category. So to make this flash a possible thing you need to have three things which are a custom recovery and two zip files. So you need to have custom recovery installed in your phone or flashed in your phone so I have a tutorial made if you don't know how to do that just go to the first video in the i button and just learn how to do that it's pretty simple so the second thing which you need is the paranoid android rom zip file it is provided in the description box down below but then it is for the oneplus x if you have some other devices just check in the first link which I told you earlier the third thing which you require is the G apps zip file so just go to the link again, I've given that link as well and just download any of those zip files. I would recommend you to go with Nano but then it's your choice. So once you have these three downloaded, let's go to the tutorial which is coming up in 3, 2, 1. As OnePlus has given their official statement that the OnePlus X will not receive the Android N update, there is another way to get Android N on your OnePlus X and it's by flashing a custom ROM. So in this video we are going to flash the paranoid Android ROM. First we need to boot into the recovery mode. So just switch off your device and press and hold the power button and the volume down key at the same time and leave once you see the OnePlus logo. If you have watched my previous videos then you would remember this tiny little thing. It is all my ROMs. So we are finally in the recovery mode. I'll just attach the OTG and then flash the ROM. First wipe the data, then go to install, select storage, then flash the paranoid android zip file with the gapps. Then hit the reboot button once it is done. You'll see the paranoid android boot animation. Looks nice. So finally we have booted inside the paranoid android 7.2. Initial impressions are good. The rom looks really clean and very responsive. Let's go to the settings and check the software. It comes in with Android 7.1.2. Well, there's no security patch details shown, so... Anyways, as we have Android N, we get all the Nougat features, of course. Well, it looks like lineage, but has some customization options that no ROM known to me have. Let's check those out. Going to the display options in the settings, we see some new options. First, the night light, which adds an orange tint to the display, just so you don't strain your eyes at night. Then, we got pocket detection, which is new and unique. To understand it, imagine this piece of cloth 
to be one of the side of your pocket. Whenever you keep your phone in the pocket, the proximity sensor gets blocked and whenever you have this feature enabled, it will disable all the accidental inputs happening in your pocket. It's a pretty sweet addition. Another addition is to change the theme of your phone. You could choose between default, grey, stock pixel or dark. Not just the theme, you can even change the accent and you got a lot to choose from. You can also customize the notification LED colors according to the notifications you get and the battery percentage. Going to the button options, we can enable ourselves the software buttons. We also get an immersive mode, which helps us to know about the Pi feature in the paranoid Android ROM. In immersive mode, the status bar and software navigation buttons go away. And for navigation, we get the Pi control. To use the Pi control, we need to swipe up from the bottom and access it. We can customize the Pi from the settings. One more unique feature we get is the accidental touch. This will help you when you're gaming on your phone. Gone the days when you are doing a very important attack and someone hits that home button and you lose your coins or whatever it is. While this feature is enabled, the navigation features are disabled when you use your screen. Pretty good for you poor phone gamers. We also have an option to swap the alert slider if you find it useful. Then we got some regular stuff at the bottom. Well, we get the system UI tuner in this ROM. To enable it, just press and hold setting shortcut option for a few seconds and it will be added as an option in the settings. It just gives those status bar, do not disturb and power notification controls which we were easily able to navigate in lineage. So there's nothing much expected in here. The camera quality in this ROM is lit AF. It is of course better than lineage and doesn't give those shutter sound issues which is a great thing. The focusing speed is good and front camera performs good too. The paranoid android comes in with an inbuilt music player that is called the Shuttle Plus. It costs around 99 cents on the Play Store, but here it is free. It's just a substitute for the Google Play Music. You can sort your music, also cast your music. Moreover, you can also change the theme. Well, you can try this for yourself. There are no customization options in the launcher, but you got third party launchers for that. You also get a few wallpapers which are pretty decent. So this ROM also has some flaws. After installing some apps, the phone lags a lot. Even memory management is not that great. The charging speeds are slower than lineage. I didn't find any other customization options which could be something great than lineage but then if you like lineage then you'll somewhat like it initially but you'll go back to lineage as I have done. Also I had issues with snapchat login. I couldn't open the app so if you don't want to break your streak then don't flash this one. So that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it then hit the like button and if you loved it then subscribe. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you.